coming to the time where you left the band, Adam, like I saw you said it's very difficult to go into detail at the time. So I don't expect you to now. But yeah, how would you reflect on that time? Can you tell us a bit about what happened? Oh, it was really horrible. I think it was a real sterile time in the band anyway. I think at this point, we just recorded Peter's solo album and we were waged as musicians. So already you have a massive big power shift. And I think the management obviously knew that it's probably easier and more lucrative. So there's already, you know, cracks in, in the foundation, really. There was a lot of, you know, infighting. And it got to the point where I just went to, we were going to go on tour at some point. And Drew and I were told, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to be in a band with you anymore. Generally, when that happens, I go, yeah, OK, bummed along. And a few days later, everything's forgotten. And at this point, something just switched. And I just thought, all right, cool. Well, that's that then and it was like a real weird maybe it was just my body taking over and saying you've had enough um and that was that it was pretty you know it was I was all over the place anyway I was really sad I was really quite jubilant that I was no longer in it there's a real mixture of emotions um but as I look back now I think it was probably the best thing I could have done really uh I did, I did yeah I didn't walk away I was kind of pushed it was I think in a similar vein with Pat it's like well were we kicked out or did we leave or was it a case that we were kicked out as we were often kicked out but we just lost the uh we just couldn't be bothered and weren't motivated to kind of get back in if that makes sense it was so it was such a murky messy well between who was in the band you know one minute the general is going to be the new bass player the next minute some guys meeting east london is going to be the manager the whole thing was always in disarray so you just took those things in your stride. One minute, you know, one arm Bob from Glasgow is going to be the drummer. And you're like, OK, right. Cool. <laughs> and, but, you know, they, they would maybe do a gig or something and then it would come back to the core band and you just flexed with it. But at this point, I was like, no, I just had a child. It's like, you know what? I can't I can't do this. I, mean, I can't drive backwards and forwards, picking people up, making sure you're there for a gig. So I think something inside me just clicked and I was like, all right, cool. See you. And that was that. So who's telling you this? Is it Pete that's often saying, yeah, well, you're not in the band anymore? Yeah, yeah. That's, all right. Very <laughs> odd. Well, I so, think it's just it was just that's indicative of, of the psychological state of everyone was in. It was just such a think, blurry mess. I, I think when it got to that point as well, like there was just so many people like coming in and out of like this group and you didn't really know who any of them were because, you know, there, because of like the intoxication of everything as well, it was like, there was a lot of hangers hangers on in that sense as well, weren't there? Like, yeah, people trying to make tr people trying to make money out of him probably through drugs as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a mess. Uh, yeah, and, and, and he literally he literally didn't he didn't. I remember just be like showing up to certain things, and you you know usually you'd, you'd know like everyone who was part of the crew or whatever, but then they'd be like this random people like coming in and out. And yeah it would just be weird friendships and that was it and I remember one particular time I think you lot had come up for a party in where he was in Marlborough and I think for me that was like that was like the party's over you know there was some celebration some birthday or something there's a lot of old people there you know, by old people I mean like old old um band mates that we'd all friends be friends with and old yeah. faces and then there was this new scene happening and for me I was at that party and I remember you lot all being there and I remember some other kind of I guess of our peers being there and then this whole crew of new and I just thought you know what this just feels wrong now it just feels like it's about yeah. to explode and it was dark and it's at that point it's only a few weeks after that I think where the whole thing kicked off and yeah I just felt it I think everyone felt it as well this is it now it's gonna mm -hmm. start to go